I am pleased to introduce to you the Leo's Class of 2013 Valedictorian Grant Adams. Grant will be attending Indiana University in the fall to major in biology in preparation to apply to Indiana University's medical school to become a doctor. While maintaining outstanding grades, Grant has participated in an array of activities. He has run track and cross country throughout high school, has competed on the academic Super Bowl math team, and has even had a part in the spring musical this year. Grant is also a member of the National Honor Society and has participated in volunteer activities such as Polar Plunge and the Special Olympics, as well as activities through his church. Many of us know Grant as a kid who had infinite knowledge about things we had never even wondered about and could answer questions some teachers couldn't even answer. Grant has always been passionate about his ed education for as long as I can remember. He would come down to the bus stop with his book, sit on the curb and read, read the entire way to, to school and back. Not only is Grant a well-rounded student, but a friendly and kind individual who is always willing to help others. With no further ado, I present to you our valedictorian, Grant Adams. This is the wrong stage for that opening. Let me try that again. Okay. I feel as if I'm required to begin with a hearty congratulations. So congratulations, Leo High School Class of 2013. We are ready to move forward into the rest of our lives. We must, however, take a moment to look back at what got us to this stage, as well as look forward to the future that awaits us. Now, I recognize and fully admit that many of the things I'll be saying today are dreadfully cliché but they must be said nevertheless. We'll start at the logical place, the beginning, uh, by looking back at our experiences. We've shared lots, and none at all. Now that statement may require some explanation. You see, collectively, we've gone through quite a bit together. Who can forget the initial experience of seeing what looked like a foreign language on one of Mr. Crosby's tests? Or the excitement and energy of class turning? How about the books, both good and bad, that we read in English class? Who could forget the sports victories that we celebrated and the ones we were saddened by, and the losses we were saddened by, rather? Let's not forget about the emotions caused by the plays and musicals either. And of course, the science experiments that we botched, because those were always more memorable than the ones we finished properly. Because of these shared experiences, I can honestly say we have shared quite a lot. Despite this, no two of us has shared an experience. Because each of us see people, places, and events through the filter of our own perceptions. For this reason, I can say that none of us has shared the exact same experience. Our viewpoint of the world is influenced by the people we meet and how they affected our lives. Parents, grandparents, siblings, cousins, second cousins, step-second cousins, step-second cousins once you moved on your mother, never mind. Anyway, classmates, teachers, and hundreds of others have all touched your lives in ways both big and small. I lost my place. There it is. Because of the effect they've had in our lives, I would like to thank all of those who have guided and nurtured the students in Leo's class of 2013. You've done very well. Now, that is all we're we'll doing for looking back at the past, because it's not about what it is, it's about what it can become. Our past is what we are at this moment, but the much more important thing is what we can become. The lessons we have gained extend far beyond facts and figures, beyond books and cleverness. There are more important things, like friendship and bravery. The qualities we exhibit are the result of our past, and we bring them with us into our futures, confident that we have learned something truly valuable. Many of our lessons have come from our extracurricular activities. Uh, athletics, for example. Athletes in the audience. You know well the grueling effort that any sport requires. I've seen the football players out in the heat of the day practicing, and I think to myself, I'm glad I don't do that sport. I see the soccer players sprinting up and down the field, and I think to myself, I'm glad I don't do that sport either. Whether it's tennis, basketball, bowling, golf, hockey, baseball, or any other sport, I'm always amazed at the determination that these athletes show. And determination is one of the important things we'll be walking through those doors with. Now, from my point of view, all those sports seem incredibly difficult, but I know that other athletes watch cross country and track teams run by and think to themselves, I'm glad I don't do that sport. Now, since it's easiest for me to relate these lessons to things we have, the things that I have participated in, I'll be moving on to lessons from the drama department. Now, quite a few of you no doubt think that most of the drama kids are, well, strange. That's absolutely true. 
but they are also very kind and open, and that made joining Drummond very easy, though it was certainly a large step out of my own comfort zone. Now, I think at some point or another, all of us have gone outside of our comfort zone. Some of us took baby steps out, while others were veritably thrown out, I'm sure. Stepping out of your comfort zone is important because it means that you also are stepping out of your rut. Opportunities knock on the door every single day of our lives, and each opportunity tells you it's looking for someone to share in an adventure. And opportunity is not a lengthy visitor. So take advantage of that opportunity, and when you do leave your comfort zone, you are rushed out of your front door unprepared, sent off on an adventure. And that's a great thing. You'll meet new people, have new experiences, see new places. Now there are downsides, to be sure. There are always dragons, there are always spells, there are always wolves, there are always giants, but even running into the obstacles in these experiences is worthwhile and will teach you even more lessons. There is more to see than can ever be seen, more to do than... Hold on, that's the Lion King, but the point still stands, despite the fact that I'm quoting Disney movies. I believe now is the time for the graduating seniors, though, to think about the role models in your life. Think about those people that have helped, that have had such a huge impression on your life that you will always remember them. The person that helped you decide on a career. The person that convinced you to do an activity that you ended up loving. A friend that has done great things, like getting into West Point, or who has always been there for you. Even fictional characters who you look up to. All of these are important to who you are. Now, I could bore you with a list of who those people are for me, but that would be pointless. They know who they are. Just take a moment to appreciate the effect your uh, role models have had on your life. For those of you that have zoned out because this speech is already five minutes long, that's something to do. We've shared some fairly great experiences, and we've learned quite a lot during our time at Vail High School. Twelve years is far too short of a time to spend among such wonderful classmates. I know less than half of you half as well as I would like, and like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. And you thought I could get through a whole speech without a Lord of the Rings reference. Now, it's difficult to puzzle out whether that statement is an insult or a compliment. In this case, it is most certainly a compliment. I can't. I'm very touched and blessed to have known all of you, and I appreciate your friendships. In all time and space, there is no such thing as, a, as an unimportant person. Everyone in this class has a role to fill, and I'm sure you will achieve it. I would like to thank you again for all being attentive, and congratulate you for your graduation. Thank you.